Hello, hello everybody. This is Trisha Dyke of The Happy Empath and I'm excited to come to you today to talk about what it is to be a physical empath and if you are. It took me a long time to understand that what I was picking up physically wasn't even mine. Like how, how amazing is that? Like truly. Um, I can give you like examples and I'm going to share some client stories with you because it's so important for you to really pay attention to how you feel. For example, you wake up in the morning and I can't tell you how many times I've woken up in the morning and I'm like, yes, I'm ready to go. I'm excited. The day is awesome and I'm recharged and I can't wait to kick some ass. And then I just start moving and doing th things. I remember one year I was, um, I went to work and I walked in and I was hyper. I was raring to go and I sat down at my cubicle and totally deflated. I was tired. I had a wailing headache within walking in the building of where I worked. And I remember sitting there thinking, what the hell happened? And a coworker said, God, you know, I barely slept last night. I have such a bad headache. And I'm like, oh my God, could I actually be picking up people's physical issues? I pick up their stuff emotionally. I pick up their stuff mentally, physically, really? Yep, physically, really, absolutely, really. So I thought it was really interesting. So I started to pay attention to how I was waking up in the morning and to what I was feeling physically during the day. For example, out of the blue, getting a wailing headache. Now this time of year I get headaches from allergies, but and I know that about myself, but I also know if something comes on randomly, like I'm in a really good physically, I'm feeling great, and something happens, it's like, oh my God, is this mine? Is this mine? Instead of going to take that Advil or going to take that Tums or going to, to do something to alleviate the pain, ask yourself, is this mine? So um, I remember being at the mall during Christmas, actually, and I'm walking and I'm actually like, uh, I'm like a speed walk because I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to get gifts. I'm trying to get out. And all of a sudden it was like, bam, my hip really hurt. Like I thought to myself, oh my God, if I take one more step, I'm going to fall on my ass. And I stopped for a second. I go, I was fine two seconds ago. I'm like, what is this? And I remember saying to myself, is this mine? Because if this is not mine universe, you need to clear it and take care of it. And within 30 seconds, it was gone. So, you know, it happens. I, I noticed I get tired, like out of the blue, or I have a headache. I mean, that's a good one. Or these random aches and pains. Could it be yours? Absolutely. It could be yours because your body's like, dude, you're not paying attention to me and you're picking up stuff that does not belong to you. But you could also be, pick, you know, just physical stuff that is not yours. You know, I mean, think about it. So not only are you like picking stuff up emotionally and holding it on in your body, you could also pick up physical issues from people. You don't need to know them because I've had a client go, oh, you know, I, I, my mom's got this stomach issue and my stomach's been bothering me. And I'm like, that doesn't necessarily have to be your mom's. You know, it could be anybody's. Um, or people have come to me and said, you know, all of a sudden I just don't feel right. Like I'm like my hip hurts or this hurts. And I start to ask the question, were you fine this morning? When you woke up, how did you feel? Is this something that just started randomly? Did you ever have an issue with this before? And I've had people 95% of the time say to me, it's not mine. I know it's not mine. When they stop, they check in, they ask if this is mine, they find no, it's not. And then the other piece is to say to the universe or the earth, however you want to, to use it, and say to them, please remove this from me and have it cleansed, cleared, and healed. This way, it's they're just taking it, they're healing it, and they're putting back out into the universe more love, more health, more abundance, um, that's the way that I perceive it in my head. And uh, that's what I've taught my clients, that whenever something comes to us, it comes through us to be felt, to be cleared, to be healed. But that's not our job. It's not our job to hold on to it, take it on as ours. It comes through us, and then it's the job of the universe and the earth to clear it and heal it.
All right, guys, it was a quick live today before my phone dies. If you have any questions, as always, please send me a DM. Please post below. And I do offer one-to-one -one coaching services for empaths, really about learning their gifts and about getting their own energy so that they're excited to live their lives instead of getting clammed up in, in all of this and holding on to negativity or emotions and physical issues that are not theirs. Again, any questions, please send me a comment. Thanks.